All right, in today's video, we are checking every single whole thing from the new Just Daytona update. There are her new nine new cars, new VIP tracks, and much, much more. So let's get into it. All right, we are starting with the new iRock cars. Here's 2024 Gen 7 cars. And later in the 2013 Eden cars and the Arca cars. But first, let's start with the IROC cars. We have the 1990 edition. So, so let's, let's test the track. Also, we are racing at the, one of the new tracks by Born Place, Texas. And this is called Texas Motor Speedway. Hey, let's go. So, and let's do it. We're gonna drive five laps around this track. And how how do we how do we do it? Oh snap, I already crashed. See, the physics are crazy. But anyways. Such a short track compared to Charlotte. Anyways, we are cruising on this track. Oh, okay, my flippin' grill fell off. I can't even get that thing out of my screen. I had to press the posture key button to get that out. But actually, we're only gonna race like three laps. Whoa! The airborne physics it's got literally, dude, got literally on steroids right now. Holy crap! Did I literally just turn this thing straight? Oh my god! Our third and final lap up around this track, and, and the new UI is like a blow out of tire. Oh, and there it is! I left the tire and it went out. And the new setup is called Forward Arcade, which fits this really slick. Or can I just complete this? So, anyways, let's move on to a new car. What the heck is that sign? <laughs> anyways, we're at the next new track called Martinsville, and we are gonna test the 2024 her next generation cars. the last track on the update it's circuit of the americas which is hundreds of miles which is not that much miles away from texas motor speedway but this time we're going to use the rest of the new cars at this track so let's do this we have the 2024 <laughs> Thank 
take a minute to assess this track. In all seriousness, this was pretty unexpected that the spin really just put me into the catch feds. But anyways, we have the 2013 Gen 6 cars. So let's try this again. And after this, we're going to try the next 2013 Gen 6 car. And then the carpet car, which is the last one. Also, they updated the time. So, I'm probably going to check it out for the other cars. But anyway, I'm going to go through the movie right now. By the way, the car participants on this track. Oh, flip it, snap again! Oh, what are the movie's physics? This is why they had to do physics. But anyways, let's go on. Austin Hill well, at the end of the race. They were literally duking it out for the win. But Austin Hill gave a, a little bump to SVG and they both went wide and Kyle Larson even secured the win. But that was crazy. Going through this long straightaway. Oh, it's, oh have, you, have you seen that thing? Comment below if you have been to any of these tracks in this video. Because they're really sick. And, holy crap, this is like the hardest track I have ever endured. But, as we are going through this course, I literally basically went to zero miles per hour. <laughs> Bro, why did I- why was that the jump? Play that in slow motion. Yeah, I don't know what on earth happened there. But anyways... Wow, Jesus, man! Can this car calm down? Okay. This is taking longer than I thought it should've took it. That lane is the entry to pit road. Ah, oh, dang it. How many times have I, ha have I hit the wall? And now, we're gonna complete this lap. Yes, so let's go back to Daytona, where it got updated. Alright, we are back at Daytona, where the grass has been updated. As you can see, it looks really cool. And now, we're going to use the last of the Gen 6 cars. We have the 2013 Toyota the Gen 6. And this will be one lap around the track. So, let's get into it. We have the... 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 We have
Vegas has been updated. I, I, don't, I don't know if you've seen this before, but it looks some kind of like a road. I don't know what that is. It might be for that egg badge. But anyways, we will give you a big crash at the end of the video. So, the, after we we'll round out of turn 4, we will get back to pit road. Oh my god, the lagginess is crazy. So, we um, round out of turn 4. Turn on pacing. It's only at 123 miles per hour. But it was like 75 on time. And the, the lap is now complete. So let's move on to the Arca cars and let's do the Arca Toyota. Let's go! Update if you want, but you can put it in place and go there. 